Hello everybody, Jackson 98 here and welcome to my transit solo strategy for Black Ops 2 Zombies. Transit is a map, big map. It's some, sometimes fun, sometimes really annoying because it's so big and takes so long to set up a game. So we're going to be playing through transit. I'm going to be showing you the solo strategy, how to get everything, um, all that kind of stuff. So let's hope that this time I can actually have a good game. Unlike the last four times I've tried recording this, and they've all failed. <sighs> so we're going to start out in the starting room. This freaking deja vu right here. I've done this like four times already today. Alright. Build a mannequin. That's the thing I hate about transit. It's the exact same thing every single time. So it's like if I fail on a solo strategy, 20 minutes into the solo strategy, you know, I'm almost got everything. And then I end up going down. It's like, okay, back to square one where I was 20, 30 minutes ago. Kind of bugs me. So make sure to take out all the zombies on round one before the uh, you hop on the bus and leave the bus depot. Because you're going to need the points. And make sure to rebuild four barriers just to maximize your points too. You rebuild four barriers on round one, so you might as well. Good, we got a bus piece here. This will make things a little bit easier. So now we're going to go ahead and apply this piece. Right here. Hop on the bus. Buy the B23R on the ceiling right there. Very nice pistol to have as it will fulfill all your needs of killing zombies. So let's go bus. Well, come on. We've got places to be. This is the thing that I hate, is that there should be a way to, like, hold X on the bus driver and make him go automatically, instead of having to wait on this timer for the bus driver. It's the timer, having to wait for him to go to leave a spot is the worst spot, the worst thing ever. Because, I mean, it just, it extends the game. There's these moments in the game that just, you're taking up time in the game that just should not, should not be there. <sighs> I definitely do think that now that we've sh I've shown off all the maps, I definitely do think that Treyarch could have definitely improved on their gameplay. We're going to go ahead and jump off here, grab this turbine, or not this turbine, this jet engine right here, and wait for the bus. Treyarch definitely could have improved on the zombies in this game. They could have added a few more survival maps. Something a little bit better. I don't know. I feel like they're just wasn't enough on zombies as it was since we've uh i've showed you all the maps and the solo strategies and everything because the maps they were tiny like bus depot is a filler map town is a map town is actually like it's a decent sized map it has the stuff that you need but then farm is like just i feel like that was just a map okay let's just throw something in there that's you know gotta be a bit of a challenge no you got, you got no pack punch but you've got these perks and stuff they should have made, because I feel like those survival maps are, I was expecting when they said like survival maps, I was expecting the size of Black Ops 1 maps. They're not even half the size of a Black Ops 1 map. But, you know, I definitely do like what they did with the zombies in this game. The way that I like the weapons they added. I like, I like the concept of transit. It is a, it is a nice concept. So, I mean, it works. It's fun to play. Can we open this door and close it before a zombie comes up behind me and kills me? Thank you. It's just, to my opinion, I think they could have they could have definitely added more to this game. Oh, look, a nuke. But you know, for what they gave us, it's it's supposed to be an add-on thing too. I mean, you've got all you also have multiplayer and campaign to work on as well. So, I, I can understand why there's not as much as we were expecting. I mean, I was expecting Transit to have, like, all kinds of, like, these awesome wonder weapons. I was expecting them to bring back all the wonder weapons from Black Ops 1. I was expecting original characters to be back in the survival maps. But, you know, it's like, you get you play the game, and you, you actually, you can get let down pretty easily if you were, if you set your expectations high when you play this game compared to Black Ops 1 to Black Ops 2. <clears throat> I do like how they incorporated the storyline and everything. 
to uh, this game. I do like the storyline that they incorporated, that they kept to the storyline of the aftermath of Moon. That was very good, and that's something I enjoyed very much that they did. So, yeah. Is there anything in here? Nope, but we do want to get claymores, so make sure you get here. Buy claymores. Alright, so yeah. Like I said, I do like the concept that they gave the game, but I do think that there more could have been added into this game to give it more of just a Black Ops 1 Zombies feel, because, you know, that's where the game came from. It originated from there. They could have brought back the original... They could have at least given us some sort of, like thing to the original characters like homage to the original characters like at least had them somewhere like you know in call of the dead they had the original characters trapped and everything and I, that was cool that they did that but they didn't even do anything like that in this game you, do, you I mean you don't even hear like if you ever even played the first black ops zombies which i don't know why you would be not you'd be you wouldn't have played that without playing this i mean with playing this at this but you wouldn't even know about those characters i mean you'd only know about richtofen I don't even think his name is even mentioned. Uh, he, it might be in the Tower of Babel Easter egg when you're if you're following Maxis's voice. But yeah, I really wish they would have done something with the original characters added, given them something, you know. That would have been cool. But and, you know, with all that they did, it's still I, I'm not gonna. T I'm not saying it's a horrible game. I'm definitely not bashing on this game at all. I surely love the zombies. Always have loved zombies since Black Ops One. So yeah. Okay, we're gonna go here now. I have to remember that I dropped off my um my piece to the um what you call it the thing. Oh, is it going to put it in the, the hard locations? Yeah. Anyway, I dropped off my uh, jet gun at the diner, I believe it was. So, yeah. I definitely do like the concept of building things. That was an interesting concept that they added. Being able to build pieces to the power and, like, build, you know, build the weapons and stuff. The one thing that I do think that they did wrong with this game was... um. They didn't add enough wonder weapons. Also, before I continue this conversation, put a turbine here to open up this door faster. Because if you don't, you're going to have to wait for the power to turn on. And that takes forever. Okay, you're going to find these wires. The wires can appear there. They can appear right over there. Or they can appear on that barrel right there. So you want to find the wires. Make sure to get the wires because the next stop is town. And that's where we're going to be start putting pieces to the jet gun. And that will save you a lot of time. So I believe we should have the ladder on. Yeah, we do. And I'm getting burned. So we can hop on the ladder. Climb around. Close up these doors. But yeah, I do think that they could have added more wonder weapons. Because as you will see in this video, the jet gun is not a very good weapon in this game. It's decent. It's the only... But the fact that after round like 50, if you're going for a high score... Like, you know, on zombies, if you're going for a high score, you would always use, like, the Thunder Gun or the Wonder Waff or the Zap Guns. You know, you'd use those things because the Ray Gun, as we all know, becomes obsolete along with every other machine gun in the game. After around... All the machine guns become horrible after probably around 40. I mean, you can still decently use them, but they're going to take probably the whole gun to kill one zombie at that point, And that is being... with being Pack-a-Punched. And there goes that double points. That's the thing I don't like about the bus either, is that if you kill a zombie on the outside, it can still spawn perks. Or power-ups, or whatever you call those things. There are power-ups, but everyone just calls them perks, so. So, yeah. And then they will fly away like that. So now that we're here, you open this for a thousand right here. We're gonna go ahead and blow the vault up. Okay. Withdraw out enough for me to get Jug. And we're going to make our run towards Jug. Of course. If you're trying to get the achievement to, uh, for not stepping on any fire with opening all doors, it is freaking annoying to get in the town. Alright, so now we are here. Oh, 
Uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up this for 750. Apply the wires to the um, workbench right here. All right. Now that that's done, we can go back here because we were missing a piece at one spot. Open this up. And yes, it is. I'm glad we actually did that because that's a piece that we're going to vitally need. We're going to go ahead and just let the uh, turbine sit there. It'll get destroyed by a zombie at some point. And we got a max, so that's nice. It's going to get destroyed by a zombie at one point, so... And that's what we want because we want to pick up a new turbine at the um, place. I love how the thing is just like emitting all this electricity back there. And see, now it's dead. It stopped emitting electricity. It's done. Okay, hopefully Mr. Avogadro is not back at the bus depot when we get there like last time. Luckily, I'm back to where I was. I'm glad I actually had that uh, I had that nice conversation going about the uh, Black Ops Zombies because uh, how the game went and what I liked and stuff. Because it actually took up a lot of time and now I'm back where I was 10 minutes ago with the other gameplay. And I think I'm actually going a little bit faster in this game than I was before. So here's something you're going to have to look out for. As soon as you get on this bridge, it's going to break. Zombies are going to be all over this bus. Like a pack of wolves to meat. I don't know. Bees to a flower. That some kind of analogy. But they're going to be all over this bus. Because you're going to move in slow as crap. Suck a grenade. That did nothing. I wonder if I could actually like glitch... I can! That is so legit right there. I can glitch a claymore out of the bus. And it'll kill the zombies. That's cool. Oh, hello. I, lo I love that. You know, when you're just like, kill a zombie that's in front of you. And it just... Oh, hello. Alright. Uh, can I move? Okay, good. Open this up. Get this. Give me a turbine. Alright, so now we have the turbine. And we have a uh, quick revive. We're going to stay on the bus. And we will just wait for the uh, bus driver to get going. Because we're pretty much good now. For now, that is. I thought we were going to start moving there. Alright, this is probably where I'll start cutting till we get to the uh, diner, unless anything interesting happens, you know? So, because it's just going to be, we're going to make our second cycle through the map now. Once we get to the diner, we're going to stay there, get the galvanuckles, and then from there, that's when we can start going into the fog, because then we won't have to worry about knifing zombies, knifing the denizens five times. It'll just be, uh, you know, the standard two. Or not standard two, but the uh, nice two. Make sure not to apply the part up there because you cannot get the Galvan Uncles if you put it there. So definitely, that's a definite no right there. You don't want to do that. That wooden plank that's back there, that is for the Easter egg. So if you're going to be playing four player, you can go ahead and do that. I'm trying, still trying to devise a team of four people to do the Easter egg with. And once I get that team of four, I will have the Easter egg and put it up on YouTube. I mean, I know people already have it up, but, you know, I still want to do it, put it up on YouTube. It's still worth it, you know. Just have to build a decent team, that's all I have to do. And then I'll be able to... Oh, will you just die? Okay, so I guess I didn't have to cut, because I kind of did have stuff to talk about there, so... We can go ahead and hop off here. And we can come in here, open this door for 750. We're going to go ahead... Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to pick that up. I would normally pick um, up the MP5 right now. But I guess I could hold off on that. And I guess I should probably start moving. I'm going to get screwed here. No, I'm not. Haha, -ha, screw you, game. Oh, look at me. Yeah, look at that. I can, I can get away from zombies. And so am I. Uh, I've heard that quote so many times. Okay, now this is the part where I should probably consider buying the um, MP5. 
Oh, that would have been great if that was a max right there. We're going to trade it for our B23R because I want my uh, pistol for Mustang and Sally. Nice weapon to have. It's a nice backup weapon along with the ray gun. It can down you very easily, but you know, it's worth it. So, All right, we're going to grab the um, double points first, then the nuke. I always grab it in that nice order right there. All right, I'm going to save for Galva Knuckles, and then we're going to go um, place a turbine. We're going to get our jet gun back. Because I don't think we need any more pieces besides the pieces to the jet gun. Yeah, that's right, we don't. So. Alright, so we're just gonna, uh, like, run a train here for a little bit. Until we can get a nice insta kill. We'll shoot up these zombies, pick up the insta kill. Oh, look at that, we have enough now. How convenient. That, that was nice that we got that insta kill. Seems like we got the nut. Are you kidding me? Get up there and you buy those knuckles right now. You want to be careful when you're up here because it's um. Uh, okay, you 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 know you could just jump on top of a zombie's head. That that works too. Gotta be careful in here. Don't want to end up dying. All right, so. Let's see. I'm gonna open this up so that we can hit the box. You never know what we might get. I really do want to get Mustang and Sally, but at the same time, I don't. Oh, yeah, that is... That right there. Okay, screw Mustang and Sally. That's what I wanted. Because I, um... For the strat, it's nice to have the ray gun. Oh, my gosh. This... No, this is the video. I'm doing it, this video. Screw everything else. We are, we're doing the strat this video. There's no failure. We, we are in a perfect setup mode right here. Raygon on the first flippin' try. Um, before you leave the diner for the second time, you want to make sure you get... Oh, look at that max. You want to make sure you get 3,000 to get uh, quick revive... Not quick revive, quick reload, speed cola, whatever you want to call it. I don't know why I called it quick reload. Oh, frick. Okay. It's okay. Just shoot up the zombies. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna, just going to grab the nuke. You know what? Why not? Okay, so now that we can go ahead and buy Speed Color for 3,000. Okay. So, we don't need to be here at the diner anymore, but I'm going to wait until we have just one zombie left because I don't feel like going out into the fog with tons of zombies and denizens grabbing onto my face because it's not fun. So, yeah. We actually can take the quick shortcut to town. I'll show you guys that after this round is over. Or after we have at least one zombie left. Because there is a quick shortcut between the diner and farm that leads straight to the town. And the town is where we need to be because we need to put the um, jet gun in place. I forget what is... Oh yeah, we have to go to Nocturne and Tote and that's which... That's right, I forgot. So we... We're actually pretty decent, in decent condition right now. We, the jet gun shouldn't take, like, 10 years to build because we already have the, um, freaking jet engine. And the wire's already there. Frick, don't... Oh my crap, what was that? What the frick was that? Seriously, how did I survive that? Alright, so we'll leave you. You can be a runner if you want. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys how to get through the fog easily. From the diner, you're going to have to get over this fog. Um, as you hear that little growling and screeching right there, that's a denizen. Just rapidly press uh, the right stick to kill it. Um, one knife kills it instantly the first time it comes around. And then it will take five knives to kill it. And how did the... How did that zombie die? 
Um, right here when you see this fence, you want to turn left. And proceed this way, because this will take you straight to the town. I want to know how that zombie died. Not supposed to be able to die. I guess... Ah, uh, I know. He, he's probably injured, and he probably, when he stepped in the fire, it probably killed him. That's probably why. Alright. So, you know what? I guess we can chill here. Play this like I normally play a game of town on survival. I'm so glad we got that ray gun. I am actually like, oh my crap! You don't even know if we would have went down at that point because I tried. It, I was that was like complete luck right there that I was able to go backwards. That right there is going to put me down as well. Oh my frick! Screw you! Just go die, please. I don't want that crawler because, you know, crawlers are not going to do jack squats. They die instantly as soon as you step out into the fog. Okay, we'll wipe those guys out with our nice claymores. And then just have to find out how much of the horde is actually left. I think it's just this guy. So we're going to have to run into the bar quickly. There we go. Do not buy stamina up because stamina up is not worth it. Alright, I think what we should do is, because it takes longer to get there, we're going to go ahead and go to the um, the cornfield first. And then the shack. Although, yeah, yeah, it actually would. Because when you think about it, um, if we went to the shack, we would have to go to the shack and then come back here and then go back that way, all the way to the far, all the way to the power station, to the, to the Nocturne Toten, and then, you know, we take, we take the shortcut to get back, so, this way we're only having to go, what, that fire up there, right up there, that's where the shack is, the Bowie Knife is up there, but we already have the Galvanocles, I believe it takes three knives with the Bowie Knife to kill the, uh, denizens, so yeah. And I do believe there's no other reason for us to be at the power station either. So if you can build the, if you can pick up the jet engine at um your first trip through the tunnel and the um the what's it called the wires at the power station, then you will be pretty much really set almost because it's um, not going to take you forever to build the jet gun. The jet gun is by far one of the most tedious processes in this strategy because of how the pieces are scattered so far away from each other so after we get the jet gun I will show you guys how to pack a punch um, I'm not going to pa pack a punch right now but I will just show you guys how to do it so here we have the bus alright we're at the cornfield now I forget it's that right there you can see the building it's off in the distance And there's going to be, so just run into the cornfield at the nearest entrance. And, yeah, you can insta-kill them. If you can see them and knife them, it'll insta-kill them. Right here, this little passageway. Oh, I got screwed over here one time in the, um, the video I remember in one of the gameplay I was trying to record. Uh, so let's see, you just gotta look around for this stuff. It's somewhere in here, so. So I, I like how they put Notch Darn Toten in here. Oh, right, it can appear up here as well. There we go. That piece that you'll see right there, it's there. Um, a piece to the Easter egg can appear here as well, to the obelisk for the Easter egg. That can appear here as well, but um, it wasn't here, so... Yeah? Okay. Alright, so this strategy is actually going pretty dang well right here. We're going to have to pass this way. We could use the teleporters to get from the place to one place to another. But I'm not going to bother with that because, you know what? Screw the teleporters. That's going to take too long. Because um, you never know where you're going to end up with those things. I mean, it probably would be a little faster to use the teleporters. Meh. Yeah. 
if you want to use them, you can. It's that's that, that probably a good way to get um from place to place using the jet gun. I believe the shortcut is not is yeah because here, here's the farm. The shortcut I believe is between the farm and the um, diner. So we did have to run a bit of a ways, but it's not bad. So if you buy stamina up, you can get this done faster. But you're not gonna want stamina up for what we're trying to do here. So yeah, you know. Alright, so here is the shortcut to the town, and we're going to go ahead and after after we put this piece in, before we go and grab the last piece, we can actually go to the power station, activate the pack a punch, then go get the piece, and then come back here, because pack a punch spawns here as well. Oh, uh, one thing we have to remember to do, in the vault, in the bank, before you go to activate the pack a punch, you must do this, this must be done. You have to cook a grenade, or not cook a grenade, but just throw a grenade at that vault right there. Make sure it opens. There we go. It opened. So you have that has to be open for the um, pack a punch to work. Now we're gonna run this guy around because I don't think we'll have enough time to build the piece with him there. Dang it! I didn't pick up the um, double tap at the farm. Oh well, the farm is where we're running the strat, so I'll do that last. So we can add this third part here. All right. And now all we have to do is go to the um, power station. In the power station, we can pick up the. Uh, we can activate the power. Make sure you have a turbine to do this also. And then we'll run back, get the last piece, and apply it to the jet gun, pick up the jet gun, and then go build the pack punch machine. Yes, I think I've actually finally gotten a strategy that works. I say that as this zombie comes up and tries to down me. That would be, I would be pissed off if he downed me right there. Because this, this strategy right here worked out perfectly. There's two almost downs that I got. Oh my crap. I would have freaked out if I would have gone down on those. Especially with how like perfect this game turned out. Because I mean this game play just turned out amazing. All right, so here at the power station, we're going to go ahead and jump down here. We're going to wait for Mr. Zomb. You can actually stand. Wow. I completely forgot you could do that. You can stand up there and place it from above if you want it as well. And that actually, I'm going to actually do that. So screw this. You can. What I was going to do is I was going to wait, stand, go from uh, below. And then... You wait for the zombie to run. You run him a little bit away from it, and then you run towards the um. You place the turbine down, and then run away quickly so that the zombie doesn't get attracted to the turbine. Okay, that that should activate it right there. It's it's down there, so it's right next to the switch. So now what we have to do is run back where you, to where we saw that green light, that green lamp post, because right across from that is where the shack is. have to make sure we're going the right way here we should be yeah we are we're good just um a note to self do not to yourself at least do not let the denizens grab hold of you for more than like three seconds because they will choke you to death it's not pleasant I've had it happen with jug trying to get it to activate a teleporter and yeah I died by the way, it's not that green light we're going for, it's the other one. For some reason, I feel like we're going the wrong way, but we're not because we're underneath that the, the electric tower or whatever. Wait a minute, we're here at the town. You know what, screw the piece, I'm gonna go build the pack a bunch machine before that thing blows up and the thing closes, because we're just gonna... I, d I want to get that part over with. So now, the pack a bunch is now open, we can go down here. 
And here's the first piece right here. I actually kind of like this room. It's a nice little room here. There's that second piece. And I'm not sure where the third piece is right now, but we just have to add the parts here. Just be wary of the zombie you saved, because he's going to come in and try to be all be like, I'm a zombie, haha, ha, you're going to die. Alright, so now we just have to look around for the last part, which is like a little box. It's a little power box that goes on the side of the pack punch machine. So, you know, just look around for that thing. Well, that would suck right now if the zombie died. <laughs> here it is, right here. Little power box. And I could throw something in the pack punch right now, but I don't know if I really feel like it. Mess screw it. I'll pack punch the ray gun because I'm going to pack punch it later. So you know what? I might as well. Shoots red or orangish bullets now. All right. Now we have to go find that last piece of the jet gun. And then we will finally be set and I can finally run back to the farm and show you guys the strategy. The train spot. Um, we could go for a gun out of the box, you know. I might actually do that too, off screen. Try to get a good gun. You, you want to try to get like, maybe get a hammer or an RPD or something. A hammer is probably better. Because, you know, I think you can run faster with the hammer. So yeah, I guess that was the green light we were supposed to... I think it's up here. Please tell me I'm... Man, where is that shack? I didn't think it was that far away from the... I do remember it being at the green light, though. You can easily get lost. Here's, here's, yeah, here's the green light, which means the shack has to be across from it. Huh. Yeah, because it's right here. Wow. Alright, so here are the pieces right here. It can also spawn in the fireplace, I believe. It can spawn on that table as well, so... Just don't go down like I did one game, trying to get that piece, because it didn't spawn in the two locations that I knew. I didn't know about the third location, so I was looking around for it, and... Yeah, needless to say, it was in the middle of a round, and things didn't turn out too good. I didn't think that shack was that far back. I guess I was wrong. Oh well. Uh, all this running around, it's very annoying in this game, so. You could also pick up a gun at the, um, what is it? Um, the farm. I mean, there's weapons there if you wanted. It's not very good. I think the Remington is there. It's an okay gun. It's not really the best. I wouldn't recommend using it, but, you know, if you want. So now we have the Thrusterdyne Aeronautics Model 23, the jet gun. And now we can run all the way back to the farm. Fun. Now, as much as I don't like the jet gun, I mean, I like it a lot. Basically, as you see, there's those two gauges on it. I have to put it away because you can run with it. There's two gauges on it. And, um... What it allows you to do is it sucks in zombies and shreds them up like a jet engine. Think of it. Think of a jet engine. Think of a bird flying into a jet engine. And basically that's that's the outcome right there. The zombies are the bird. The jet engine is the jet gun. That's how it works. It shreds them up. Now there are several flaws to this weapon. Um, the first first of it being there's pros and cons to it. I'll name the, the one... <laughs> the two pros of it. There are two pros and about four, three or four cons to this gun. The first pro to the gun is that it is a D-pad weapon, which means it allows you to hold two other weapons along with this gun. So you can have a primary, a secondary, and this gun, which counts as your thirdary weapon, your D-pad weapon, along with claymores and such, you know, all this crap you can have. Now, the other pro to it is it's insta-kill no matter what round you're on, just like the all the wonder weapons besides the um, scavenger. 
So, I mean, you've, you got that, that pro right there. But that's it for pros. And now for the cons to this gun. First con. You cannot run while holding the Thruster 9 Aeronautics Model 23. The second con to the gun. When you whip, when you pull it out and start using it, your movement becomes even slower than you were. Like, slower, probably about as slow as this right here as I'm walking. Maybe even slower than that when you start holding down the right trigger. And now the third con to the gun is that when you hold down the right trigger long enough, the gauge will start to go up. And if that left gauge, the one that has um, the green and red thing on it, red, uh, like, you know, things on the gauge. If that reaches the top, the gun will explode and you will have to go pick it back up again from the, uh, town. And the town is, like, one of the most out of the worst spots in this map. There's one spot you want to avoid, you know. Um, the next con to the gun. Because of moving so slow, it allows zombies to catch up to you very easily. And also, with it sucking, zo having to suck zombies in and shred them, you have to be almost right next to the zombies for it to be decent to work. Because um, if you're far away from the zombies, you're going to shred in a few zombies that are going to get to you. But the ones behind in the train, they're going to be, you know, you're going to have to stop using the gun if you don't want to explode for the gauge. Because you, you don't want the gauge to explode. So you're going to have to stop using the gun. And when you do that, the zombies that didn't get shredded up and that were in the back, they're going to be right there whacking the crap out of you. And the fourth and final con, or fifth I think actually, to this gun, is that... Um, sometimes the game glitches and the zombies are able to get around the gun and they will show up behind you. And, yeah, that's game over for you there when you've got zombies in front and behind you and when the gun is not going to be able to kill them all because it can only kill the ones in front of you and it will explode eventually after a while. So right here, this is where you run the strat. Basically, you just want to, you know, run around in this area to nice, nice, decent open area to get around with the zombies in there's not much there's really no like debris in the way like no falling cars and crap so you don't have to worry about much stuff like hitting you I mean like getting in your way so like you don't have to worry about running into much crap and getting stuck on something so it's not it's a very nice strategy the, really the only thing you can get stuck on is a zombie because uh, the zombies because it's just an open plane right here I never picked up double tap either what the frick is wrong with me? Just, you know, you want to stay away from the denizens area. Just be careful of that. Be careful when you're shooting that zombies don't spawn behind you. Because there are a bunch of spawn locations for zombies. So that's also something you have to worry about. Um, right now we're going to go buy our fourth perk. And um, I think on the next round I will show off the jet gun. So now we have double tap, our gun's going to be able to shoot faster. It also fired two bullets at a time, excluding the ray gun. I believe the ray gun does not do this, so. Oh, huh, look at that max. I was I was hoping for a max. Oh, and another thing that's, nice, that's a uh, pro about the jet gun is that it does not require ammo. So, it's not like, um, all you have to worry about is the gauge. It's not like a, um... Black Ops 1 Wonder Weapon, in which you have to worry about ammo and, you know, running out of ammo. You have to trade it out after a while and put it back in the box just to get it again. You have the points to do it, but, I mean, it's going to require all this time to work, and especially when you've got all these zombies around. It's not very fun. But, yeah. So, there you go. <laughs> like I said, I'm trapped. I'm dead. That's game over for me. But the bus is here, so... Once I get back up, I'm gonna go back to... I don't know what that is, and I don't care what that... And I... There we go, that's it. That's me getting screwed over. Trying to get on the bus, and my X button doesn't decide it's not gonna respond. Thanks, Xbox controller. Thank you so much. But... I'm glad I went down at the 40 minute mark when I have the whole strategy recorded. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and a favorite because I have gone through probably an hour of failed recordings with this out of total about six failed recordings all between 10 and 20 minutes long. So please leave a like button because this did take me a while to do and 
I would very much appreciate it if you would. Subscribe at the top. I'll have my Twitter in the description so you can follow me there. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. And uh, one more thing. Very sorry I didn't get to use off the jet gun. But, you know, crap happens. So, meh. There's not much I could do. It's it it's really not that spectacular to see. So if you want to see a video, I'll probably make another video because I'll probably play Transit again, and I'll probably make another video, um, showing it off. You know, just to show you guys. So thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.